we've been aware of sickle cell. We've been charged as an institution to be able to address this population within our community. Our pharmacists and providers work side by side to identify patients that could benefit from medications and making sure that the medications can be affordable, tolerable, it's just more of a holistic experience. A lot of our patients are fixed income patients. If we call them and they have a $2,800 copay, that's not something that they can afford. So when we do find that funding and we go back to them, that's a huge burden lifted off of them. The pharmacy services here at Atrium Health have helped me tremendously. And for patients who are here and they come for their appointment and they get their script, they can go to the pharmacy and get it filled. They don't have to get in their car and go to another pharmacy. There's only two FDA approved drugs for the treatment of sickle cell. And the one that's been around the longest is hydroxyurea. The other one that was approved in July of 2017 is L-glutamine and the brand name for that is Indari. It's a new drug and compliance is going to be a challenge. So we're working with our pharmacy to help people know how to take it, problem solve, ways of taking it that makes it easier for them. And because of those clinical services, we can be able to document that patients are staying on their drugs longer, they're staying on the way they're supposed to, that any kind of uh, concerns about side effects are addressed immediately. They have access to our organization 24-7 with a live answer during the day and a pharmacist on call at night. We believe that we can take the model that we've created from traditional specialty pharmacy and to be able to make it a standard of care for all of our patients and how pharmacy interacts with our providers and delivers the care that our patients expect.